Hello everyone, I'm Mark Rogers, the creative director from Pachacuti, a sustainable fashion brand specializing in fine quality Panama hats and handmade fashion accessories. Based in the UK, we have a global supply chain working with skilled artisans from Ecuador and Mexico. As a sustainable brand, we exist in a niche market within the fashion ecosystem, serving as a discerning clientele looking for something more authentic instead of mass market retailers. These large companies may fulfill an insatiable consumer demand, but their business models engender a throwaway culture devaluing how clothing is created and perceived. As a mission-driven business, Pachacuti aims to create an alternative model that counters these marketing giants. We stand for the antithesis of fast fashion, championing a slow fashion ethos that respects worker dignity through fair trade and preserving traditional skills. When it comes to raw materials, we source our Panama hat fibers from biodiverse, community-owned land. We endeavor to make products that our customers love for their authenticity, skillful craftsmanship, and quality materials, whilst producing designs of enduring style. And by taking a holistic and systems view of our business, we see the important part we play in sustaining a web of tangible and intangible values that extend beyond the financial to serve the benefit of our planet and the society we wish to create. You see the expertise required to produce a cultural artifact such as one of our Panama hats is under constant threat. Yet if these artisanal skills vanish, so does the weaver's way of life and the craft's social value. That's why the Panama, or to give it its correct name, the Ecuadorian Toquilla straw hat was inscribed in 2012 on UNESCO's Register of Intangible Cultural Heritage of Humanity. In doing so, UNESCO recognized that the tangible cultural heritage transmitted from generation to generation is constantly recreated by communities and groups according to their environment, their interac interaction with nature, and their history providing them with a sense of identity and continuity, and thus helping to promote respect for cultural diversity and human creativity. First, it was colonialism that disrupted the cultural weaving traditions of Ecuador, and now it's globalization and its forces of supply and demand that encourage shoppers to consume quantity over quality. Apart from the profound changes caused to the local economy, craft skills that carried cultural meaning beyond the merely economic, are threatened and devalued. This debasement denies the central role such artisanal activities have played in human development. As the Cuban cultural historian Cerné Benetez Aranda reminds us, artisan production is the first form of transforming activity of humans, the first form of production that goes back to the origins of the human species. And craft is an activity in which economic, technical, productive, commercial, social, aesthetic, and cultural elements of great complexity are involved. At Pachacuti, we honor the richness of this complexity. We understand the intangible treasures of artisanal skills form a reservoir of precious knowledge and are essential carriers of cultural values between generations. By acknowledging their importance, we agree with Homer who wrote that the gift of craft skills is the bedrock of which stable and prosperous communities are forged and then bound together. Is it grandiose to see this beautifully crafted hat as a symbol of this idea of a complex society where the intricate interweaving of fibers, each set at precise angle to the other, are bound together with just the right amount of tension? We think not. At Pachacuti, we help to maintain the unity of the complex human ecosystem centered around century-old traditions. We are proud that our links stretch across time and into new generations and are essential to creating an enduring sense of place. We are proud that our makers pass down skills with elegance and grace that continue deep cultural traditions, and we are pleased that our makers read poetry, not prose. A fundamental challenge, though, is how we, as a brand, communicate this to our customers. And we do this by being transparent about our supply chain, 
through storytelling and by sharing the cultural richness that makes our products exceptional. And we let our customers know they are more than just consumers because in reality, they are patrons and supporters of an artistic weaving tradition that spans thousands of years. Through storytelling, we engage their curiosity and inspire a sense of connection to how their purchase is part of a greater cultural value system. Our customers feel part of a journey that weaves intangible and tangible values every step of the way. Through sharing the intimate details of the weaving craft, and use of sustainable materials, we help them become textile connoisseurs. We must connect our hearts with our minds when we make purchasing decisions, because we need to care more about the clothing we purchase if we're going to make the fashion industry sustainable. Therefore, we spend a lot of time teaching our customers how to take care of their hats. We offer a restoration service if they need extra help. And we do this because we want them to look after our purchases properly, rather than treating them as disposable commodities. In the process, we are assisting people to buy fewer, but more cherished items, which sets them on the right path to being responsible consumers. We hope to inspire our customers to care more, buy less, and know they have a meaningful part to play in creating a more sustainable future. Thank you and enjoy the journey.